Hi, this is Joe, and welcome back to the second part of adding an external battery to the Jetson Bolt Pro. So let's continue with our video. I will put a link in the description of several different batteries that you can purchase. The most important thing you want to remember is you want the voltage on the external battery to be very close within 0.1 or 2 volts of the battery that's in the bike. The internal battery when fully charged should be right around 41 to 42 volts. So when you charge your external battery it should also be between 41 and 42 volts. That way when you connect both batteries together there isn't going to be a disparity of, of voltage between the two batteries which could cause a, a balancing condition where current from one battery charges to the other battery. You want the voltages between the two batteries to be very close to one another. Let's go ahead and solder our connections now. I've soldered the two XT60 connectors onto the pair of wires. I'll post another video of that will show teach you how to solder. If you see I'm using clear heat shrink so you can actually see the soldering joints just what I had lying around as you notice again one set of wires has a male connector the other set of wires has a female connector and those will match up to the connectors uh, between the controller and the external battery let's go ahead and connect the wires to the external battery and the controller show you how that connects together if you don't already have some pick yourself up some zip ties. We're going to use these zip ties to connect the two wire pairs to uh, inside the battery case back to the externally mounted battery. So at the front end you're going to have a male connector so you want to find the female connector. Again these connectors only go one way. Red to red, black to black make the connection at one end and now what we can do is we can come in get a zip tie for the time being we'll just rest those wires there we'll tie them in and tuck them in later we'll take another zip tie pull the wires fairly taut together zip tie about six inches down from the first zip tie And as you can see, we can route the wires through the rear access hole coming out of the plastic cover. I'll take another zip tie, wrap it around some of the other wires going through the tubing of the e-bike. And then around the, the new wires that will lead to the external battery. As you can see, we can now route the batteries, in this case, underneath the existing battery. Again, I made this harness purposely a little bit longer because I can always then tuck it inside the bag that's mounted to the external battery. In this example, I've routed the extra portion of the battery back around and tied it into the existing wires. That way I just have a, a short connection here to tie into the external battery. Again, you can either put it inside the uh, your bag, your waterproof bag that you put your battery in, or you can tuck it inside the, the uh, plastic case where the primary battery is. Now we can take the other end of the XT60 connector and we could connect it in to the battery pack on that we're using for the external battery. Now we made a connection. Now what we want to do is before we tuck everything back in the cover, we want to do a little operational test on the batteries. Notice I've attached the, the tape to the foam pad underneath the battery. And if you want, you can uh, then put it inside your canvas bag and then you can attach the canvas bag to uh, the bike rack either with a bungee cord or some other type of connector and you just want to make sure that that battery isn't going to move around so let's go ahead and do our operational test 
I have the rear wheel and kickstand mounted up off the ground on just a piece of uh, square tubing. And that way I can uh, rotate the throttle and check to make sure uh, we're getting proper uh, connection to the battery. Make sure the rear wheel turns uh, via the motor. Operational check looks good. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, tuck in the wires, mount your external battery to. Make sure you also tuck in your charging cord on the external battery. I'm, at this point I'm not going to put the cover on, I just want you to, uh, to see how everything is routed. Uh, that's all there is to it. Any questions that you have about mounting an external battery, please just leave me a comments in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.